hello students today we will discuss an important topic from geography and that is continental drift theory which is one of the important topic from our course okay continental drift theory and according to this theory 300 millions years ago the landmass was a single unit so let's try to understand this with some figure and images so let's take an example this circle as the land mass and that land mass was surrounded by water okay suppose this blue color represent water and the inner part represent land here it has some name so this blue part was known as hope you know it was known as panthalasa while the land part this land part was known as Pangea okay Pangea okay so what we have understand is that according to continental drift theory 300 million years ago the land mass was a single unit but with the passage of time in the east west direction of this Pangea a narrow sea was formed the name of this sea was Tethys Tethys Sea so now what we have seen due to the creation of Tethys Sea the entire Pangea was divided into two part so now what we have seen due to the creation of that tethys sea the entire pangea was created into two part the northern part and the southern part so let's try to see what are the two part of that pangea the upper part that means the northern part is known as Laurasia and Angara land. Similarly, the south part of Tethys Sea is known as Gondwana land. Okay, hope you have understood up to here. So let's go and try to understand some more thing before 200 years ago due to splitting of the two part of Pangea that is Laurasia and Gondwana land present form of continents were created so it means whatever landforms we have today these were created before 200 years ago when the two part of Pangea that is Gondwana land and Laurasia were further divided now let us see what are the division of Laurasia when Laurasia was divided 
places like North America, North America, after that uh, Greenland, then landmass of Europe and Asia North were formed. Similarly, when Gondwana land was divided, places like South America, Africa, Madagascar, India, Arabian region, Malaysia, Australia, Antarctica, etc. were formed. So this was little bit about continental drift theory. Hope you have understood. Thank you very much for watching the video.